Hello everybody, this is Donna uh, with ddivadesigns.blogspot.com um, Actually, I haven't updated my blog in a while. I've just been uh, kind of busy, as everybody else knows how life just makes, uh, sometimes just gets busy. So I'm actually going to do some updates on my um, blog this weekend because I do have a ton of projects that, I'll, that I'm working on and um, I'm going to post some of those projects on my blog um, hopefully over the weekend and certainly by early next week if I can get to it. Um, but with this video, I'm just going to show you just a couple of uh, sneak peeks of some things that I'm working on. And I'm actually going to show you a haul. I'll explain the haul right now. Um, it's a haul from Archivers, which now is my absolute favorite place. I'm on the East Coast um, in Maryland, as a matter of fact. And the scrapbook stores, the true scrapbook stores, they're, they're, just, they're just non-existent. So when we used to have a recollection store here in the area that you can go to and get some truly unique and up-to-date products, but that store has since closed over probably over two years now. And of course, you know, we have our big box stores, the Michaels and the AC Moores, and they're always good because they're slowly but surely getting some of the fun stuff in and fun stuff meaning Tim Holtz and, you know, who I totally love. But in any event, um, I actually went on a college tour with my niece uh, this past weekend. And as a matter of fact, we went to the Ohio State University. And I'm so excited about this journey for her. And, and although it's out of state, it's going to cost her parents a ton of money and probably have to take out like five jobs to, to get her there. I'm really hoping that she'll... Um, she'll choose that college because, I mean, that university because it's just an awesome program. But that aside, okay, as it turns out, while we were there, we had some downtime, and so I wanted I wanted to do some research to find out if there were any, like, you know, little local scrapbook stores. And man, oh, man, of Shevitz, <laughs> I found that there was archivists there, and I didn't pass go. I didn't collect $200. I'm telling right now, I went all the way around that Monopoly board trying to find the store. And as it turns out, it was only like 10 minutes away from the college. So you can imagine how giddy I was when I found out that there was an archivist because I hear so many people in the Midwest and, and in the West talk about archivists and I just went, I seriously lost it. So um, I went there. I had no intention of spending as much money as I did. But I tell you, I just couldn't because I was like, it was like, I was like a kid in a candy store. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff I got, which is totally amazing. Some of the stuff you guys have already seen before. There's one kit that I got from the store that I totally want to share with you. But um, I'll show that, I'll show that to you toward the end. And if I don't get to it, I'll just um, make a part two. So really quickly, um, okay, so with these flowers, um, these flowers were actually, all of them were white. Okay, and so actually I got them from a thrift store and they were just in a bunch and I knew I was going to be making my Christmas cards this weekend. So what I ended up doing was um, using Glimmer Mist on all of these different colors of Glimmer Mist. And what I did, I touched the leaves with um, some of that. It's the Glimmer, the Glimmer Glam. Okay, so that sparkly goodness you see there is the Glimmer Glam I touched on the leaves. I hope you can see that. So there again, they were all white, and I used my um, glimmer mist to change the colors. And um, the um, the embellishments in the middle; those are the backs of some earrings. I'm mean, actually the earrings. I'm sorry, I took the the backs off, and um, they were just for some pearl earrings that I got from the thrift store. So I made those centers. I'm just going to add the stuff, these uh, flowers, to my. Christmas cards and maybe some um, some ornaments or something and these are just I pulled a necklace apart It put those gems in the middle, so I'm not sure if I like the glimmer glam or the glimmer glaze I'm just the jury's out on that and of course I, I adore tattered angels I mean I I have so many bottles of glimmer mist trust me. I totally love it, but the glimmer glam um, I got a couple of bottles of a couple of colors, like in particular Bordeaux, and it's just not as glammy and glittery as I thought it was going to be. So I may have to search YouTube to see if there's some way that I'm not using it properly or something. And so these, this right here was actually on the back of these flowers. It looked like, let me show you, it looked like this. So I pulled that all apart, stuck a bread in the middle of it, and again, it just came from a flower that I got from a thrift store. And uh, I'll probably put that on a, um, I'll probably put that on a card or a page or an album or something. But just real cute, real quick I did that just to get my mojo juices flowing. So I got that. Now the other thing I wanted to show you, a sneak peek of a project that I'm working on. And 
Oh my gracious. Oh, it's it's called um, this project that I'm going to show you was actually inspired by I think it's Bug Junkie. And what I'll do, I'll try to put her her YouTube channel um, at the bottom of my screen. But anyway, this was totally totally inspired by her. I am actually making this uh, for a friend of mine's Nana, and uh, she lives on a farm. And um, but this project was totally inspired by by uh, Bug Junkie, and I'm not finished it. But I have a couple of things I need to work on. But in any event, it's in the shape of a, it's a barn. Okay. And I made this, hold on, let me adjust my camera for a second. I, um, I made this out of grunge board. And it's one of those, it's an explosion box. So let me show you real quick. When you open it, it explodes. And I have all my junk down in here that I'm going to, you know, kind of sort of add to it or whatever if I can. I'm going to do something fun with it. And um, here's a cow. She grew up on a farm. Here is a tractor. And I'm probably going to stick that tractor down in the middle. But anyway, it's an explosion box. And I made it out of grunge paper, as you can see. And um, it just all this junk just folds up like that. And um, I made my doors, as you can see. And uh, this is the Tim Holtz die here. And I made this out of grunge paper as well. And so that's just a quick sneak peek at that. I'm not sure if I totally um, like where it's going right now, but that's the total concept of it. And because actually, what she's going to do, she's going to fill it with pictures of her new baby, and she's going to give it to her um, to her nana as a as a gift. So I'm going to totally decorate it more and um, give it to her so that she can give it to her nana for a, a, a Christmas gift. So that's that. And let's see. What else I wanted to show you? Well, I'll get to the other projects that I'm working on probably in a separate video. What I wanted to show you right now was my haul. So, um, I needed to load up on, uh, this is my haul from Archivers. So, let me start with um, the We Are Memory Keepers eyelids. I bought a bunch of these because um, they're just hard to find on the internet. And I use these for my mini albums. I cannot find them anywhere online. They're completely, you know, not available. So, Archivers had just these three packs and I took all of them. And, of course, you know, we can easily alter them and make them copper or gold or black or whatever color we want. So, I just bought a lot of those because I know I'm going to use them. And uh, I bought my favorite Tim Holtz um, ideology philosophy tags. I'm going to use those. I I'm working on a cool project for um, when my, my son and my daughter-in-law uh, spent their honeymoon in, not honeymoon, but their anniversary in New York. So I'm working on a cool album, and I'm going to show you a sneak peek of that as well. And um, along the lines of me working on my Christmas stuff, I uh, bought some Bow Bunny ribbon, which I think is absolutely so pretty. It's by Bow Bunny. It's some fringe, um, some um, trim, and some ribbon. Isn't that pretty? But that's Bow Bunny. And then they had these Bow Bunny um, chipboard um, tags. These are gorgeous. And they'll look real cute on cards and, and so forth. So I'm going to try to make all my cards this weekend. My friend and I are going to have a, a um, craft crop this weekend. And we're going to put together all of our um, projects and so forth this weekend. So that's going to be fun. So that's Bow Bunny. And um, let's see what I want to show you next. Oh, let me show you this paper stack. And I know you guys have probably seen this. It's um, Tim Holtz, the um, seasonal papers. And, you know, Tim Holtz, everything he does is just amazing. And this is seasonal. It's, it's um, It has, a, at first I thought it was all Christmas stuff, but it's not. It's Christmas stuff. And um, there's some Thanksgiving stuff. See that? There's some 4th of July stuff. You know, just all reminiscent of... Isn't that cute? All reminiscent. I totally love this one. This is my favorite. But I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this. I'm probably late in the game. But this is this comes right up my alley with respect to me working on um, my Christmas stuff this weekend. So I'll be pulling all this apart. And it's so cool. He is so brilliant. Um, how he comes up with um, these paper pads because like you can use some of this for ATC cards You can cut some of them out and make tags and just how he set this up. That's the Halloween stuff right there And of course, they're all yummy double-sided. This is 4th of July. Hope you can see that But he Tim Holtz is, is brilliant So that's some Valentine stuff too. Isn't that cute? It's cute. So anyway, that's that paper pack 
And um, I bought some stuff just to, uh, let's see, let me speed it up a little bit. Okay, so anyway, here are some of those um, Color Me Crazy. These are the, I forget what you call these flowers. They're eight wild roses, but they're by Petaloo. You can easily alter those with Glimmer Mist and so forth. And then I bought some white thickers, which you, of course, can color those any way you want. And I could not resist. I went back and forth, but I absolutely had to get these from Stampers Anonymous. These are um, the Good Things, the Good Thoughts collection, the stamp pack. And it has all these wonderful sayings. They're going to be great for tags and so forth. I totally love them. I'm sure you've seen that. And here's another one that I bought. This is the uh, Purely Random. Always wanted both of these. I, I particularly like this one. Life is the art of drawing without an eraser. I'm so going to be using that on a page. And, you know, of course you guys know Rachel. Um, I think she's Rach0113. She is my my hero. I totally love her and watch her videos over and over again, but I'm going to be using some of her techniques. So if you haven't seen her video, her channel, check her out because she's great. Rach O, not zero, but Rach, R-A-C-H-O, 113. Alrighty. And then I, here's another Bow Bunny thing that I got too. That's going to be for my New York mini album. And um, I've been looking at this alteration, the movers and shakers for a while and I actually had, uh, I got that as well because I don't have this one I have the other one um I, this is the baroque is this the baroque do, 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 do. I think yeah this is the baroque I have the other one so I, don't, I didn't have this one and I almost got the one with the um where you can make the um oh my gracious you know it's it's um uh, <laughs> it's the long strip where you can make the um I forgot it guys it's completely making me go blank right now but Anyway, I almost got it. All right, so finally, my last thing I'm going to show you is what they had, um, and I actually got a great deal on it. They were so kind to give me a great deal on it because I uh, was from out of town and didn't think I would see this again. But it's a kit. It's called Deck the Walls, and it's one of those kits that comes with the tray, and it comes with all these yummy, yummy, yummy goody, goodies inside. All of these yummy things from um, from one of my favorite lines, which is Seven Gypsies. And I know you guys have seen that before, but this is a, an entire kit. I'm going to see if I can find the page. Oh, here it is. And here it is. I hope you can see that. These are the instructions. But what it is, it's just one of those um, trays that you can alter. I guess that's what you call it. But in any event, this is the theme for this one is family. And I'm so going to give this as a gift. I know exactly who I'm going to give this to. And it's very quick and easy because all this stuff comes in it. And you just have to cut it up. It'll probably take me about a half hour to an hour to, to do all of that. But totally love this kit that came from Archivers. And so happy it came with the instructions. So I'm going to be working on that this weekend as well. And then finally I bought some more grunge paper. Because at first I didn't think I liked grunge paper. But I really do. So I stocked up on that as well. Alright. So that's just about it. I am... I'm just so excited and, and so excited about working on these projects and um, I actually ha have some things. I have about, let's see, oh my gracious, <laughs> I have about nine separate projects that I'm working on. I'm excited about it because I'm going to try to knock some of them out this weekend with my, with my girlfriend um, and hopefully we'll be able to... Uh, to get some things done on these projects and then I'm gonna upload a video sharing those and um, and then post some pictures up on my blog if you're interested oh one other thing I wanted to show you guys again Rach 0113 she actually showed us how to make these uh, is she using a cloisonne technique uh, for jewelry and um, and charms and embellishment and I actually tried it out this weekend actually yeah this past weekend and I want to show you something real quick. It turned out pretty neat, as a matter of fact. Um, look at that. Isn't that cool? Not my idea. This is Rachel's idea, trust me. <laughs> Not my idea at all. But she shows you how to take chipboard. And there's a technique she uses to make it looks like, to make uh, your project, this chipboard, look like cloisonne. So that's exactly what it looks like. It is so pretty. And all, I'm going to make this like a little gift to give to someone. But check her out. She shows you how to do that. It's with um, some perfect pearls. And I believe, I believe it's some black um, embossing powder, ultra thick embossing. It's black though, black ultra thick embossing powder. 
All right. All right, guys. So that's it. My time is up. I'm a little over my 15 minutes. So thank you so much. And you guys have a great day. Smooches.